Task Force TV, live from the 27th National Conference on LGBTQ Equality, Creating Change in Denver, Colorado. Back with more from Creating Change 2015 here in Denver on Task Force TV. Hanging out with uh, documentary filmmaker Jack Garris from New York, who's uh, joining us here at Creating Change. Welcome. Thank you, Tim. Great to be here. Thanks for having me. You got a pretty cool role here at Creating Change this year. First of all, uh, Cece McDonald. She's receiving the Youth Leadership Award here this week. So maybe real quick, uh, tell everybody her story, and then we'll go into uh, your involvement with her. Okay, great. Yeah, Cece McDonald is uh, an activist now. I mean, she was someone who unfortunately had uh, suffered a trauma, an incident in uh, 2011, and uh, that's the basis for my documentary with that I'm directing and producing with uh, Laverne Cox called Free Cece. And basically she was attacked um, going to a grocery store at midnight um, in June. Uh, in 2011 in Minneapolis, Minnesota, and uh, she defended herself. And as a result, uh, stabbed one of her attackers. And she was charged um, with, uh, well, she accepted a plea uh, bargain and took a manslaughter uh, charge and, you know, waived a right for a self-defense claim, which I think a lot of people don't understand that happens when you take a plea deal. And, you know, we went and we did a, Laverne and I went and did an interview in uh, the prison uh, that she was uh, incarcerated, uh, St. Cloud uh, facility in uh, Minnesota. It was really intense. It was the first time either one of us, Laverne and I, had been in a prison. And um, so we met Cece there and talked to her about that night, about what she wanted her story to be about. And uh, then when she was released uh, in January, 2014, we went back and we were there to greet her when she was just walking out of the prison, which was really emotional and really incredible. And I'm just so glad that we were able to be there. And then just followed her, you know, for a whole year, um, year and a half now, it's starting to go on. And just watching her evolve as an advocate has been really incredible. And um, so the film that we're making, Free Cece, is really just um, trying to get people to understand the disproportionate violence that affects trans women of color. And we do that through Cece's story and through that attack and also through her advocacy. Talk about your partnership with Laverne Cox. Uh, she was one of the highlights last year here at Creating Change. We had the opportunity to interview her. She was great. Uh, talk about the, the start of the project, how you two got together. Great, sure, yeah. Laverne is an amazing collaborator. I mean, I am just, it's so gracious, you know, to, to be in her um, warm light, <laughs> you know, making this. I mean, she is just an incredible woman and fierce advocate. And so Laverne and I just basically got together way back when I was still uh, supervising production on a show, a little show called In the Life, which was on public television for over 20 years. And the last five years of its run, I was um, in charge of it. And so I hired Laverne to make a segment about CC and about the disproportionate violence that affects trans women of color. So we met for like a year and a half, uh, creating a treatment, uh, getting everything locked in place with this in-prison interview. And what ended up happening is in the life, um, unfortunately, had to go off the air. Um, the people that were on the board and the organization had felt like the mission of the organization had been fulfilled. Um, now with marriage equality, particularly becoming so mainstream as far as a news event. And we were a news, you know, we produced a new show every month. So, um, you know, I was, I was sad, but, you know, I eventually what it ended up doing is forcing me to make a decision to make my own work again as a filmmaker, dive in, raise the funding for a feature film, which is like close to a half a million dollars, wow. you know, and just take it on. And it has been like, my my life you know it's great and lastly tell us about what it means to you to be involved in this particular project well this is a particular story or you know just a, an issue that not a lot of people particularly in the mainstream or just you know I mean when I asked who's the audience the audience is everyone I mean of course I'm making it for trans women of color because I want them to see themselves represented 
as resilient women or even just the trans community to show that resiliency that um, is so often just erased um, in the history of the LGBT movement. Um, so that's at the core of why I'm making this, but it's also to uh, educate and to really get people to understand the um, lethal uh, effect of the violence that faces trans women of color. I mean, here we are in June, I mean, in January uh, 2015, and we already have over four women have been murdered or attacked um, just this year. So, really, way to raise awareness and try to um, create some kind of policy change or just get people, you know, educated to the issue. And that's why we're here. Great. We look forward to meeting CC later on this week here at Creating Exchange. So Jack cannot wait to see the film. Yes. And thanks for joining us. 16. All right. That's when it's coming out. <laughs> thanks so much. Thank you. We will have lots more here at Creating Exchange 2015 here in Denver. So keep checking back with us. Task Force TV, live from the 27th National Conference on LGBTQ Equality, Creating Change in Denver, Colorado.